Welcome. We're going to take you through configuring the Okta desktop password sync configuration inside of Intune. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to set up our configuration profiles. This will really be two parts. Select Mac OS, Settings Catalog. We'll call this Okta SSO. We're going to add settings. First, we're going to look for SSO. We'll just go, we're just going to select all those settings and we can, we'll, we'll remove what we don't need. We're also going to add in associate domains, add that. Okay. So now we're going to go through and set this stuff up. So we're just going to recap here. Last piece is the extension identifier. So we'll put that in there. So yep. We have the session, we have the extension identifier, the team ID redirect. We get our URLs. Password is our auth method. And so now we're going to go up to the associate domain. And under that, we're going to add, we're going to edit this application identifier and put that in there. And then the associate domain. Okay. And then from here, we're going to hit save and we're going to hit next. And I'm just going to add all the devices. Doesn't really matter. We're going to hit this and then we're going to create. Now that is one portion. We're going to, we have one more as well. So in templates, we're going to go custom. Okta SSO mobile profile is what we'll call this one. So now from in here, we're going to select the file. You see that just kind of pops the whole thing in there. So I actually updated this file. I re-uploaded it. So I used to make sure I was using the Intune supported formatting for the variable for the email attribute. So we have this one and we're going to push this down to all users or rather all devices. Then we're going to have one more to create. And we're going to call this Okta SSO extension. Okay, we have that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to push that on all devices as well. And again, we'll share all the code in, in the blog article. But just that simple.